it's Miranda, and I'm coming to you. <laughs> I was going to say day blah, blah, blah of 30, 30 days. It's not a 30 inks day. It is exciting, though. We do have some inks. We are going to be looking at the newest editions of the uh, Sailor 50 States line. Um, I have two cards. I ordered these from Pen & Chalet because um, they're awesome and their price is one of the best around for these inks. So that's usually where I order them from. Um, we'll go ahead and see how they fit in with the lineup so far. And if I have time, because I have about 12 seconds to do this video, if I have time to pull some comparisons, we'll go ahead and pull some comparisons. Otherwise, I'll do that in a future video. Um, but yeah, like my schedule this week with work and stuff is a little nutso. I had to come home for a real quick second and these were sitting here and I was like, oh, I have time to get them. So we have Maryland. And here is the uh, blurb. Sailor's Maryland ink is inspired by the state's flower, Black-Eyed Susan. The shading properties of this ink showcase both the brown center and the yellow petal parts, the yellow petals of this beautiful plant. So I'm actually like looking really forward to it. From the swatches, it looks like it would be really nice. Um, like a nice addition to the collection and bright. It's, it's not like a bright, bright yellow, but it is a, it is a color that will add brightness to the collection, I think, because the collection is pretty... It leans pretty dark so far. Um, and then another, this is, this is beautiful. Um, another one that we have added to this collection is Alaska. Um, Sailor's Alaska ink is inspired by the icy blue hues of the many glaciers found in the waters around the state. Now just looking at this, I kind this is kind of like a color I would have thought for Florida, but glaciers in Alaska like makes sense my uh, parents actually went on an Alaskan cruise oh like a long time ago at this point um and um yeah they had they brought back pictures of like glaciers and things like that and it just looks really pretty and I yeah I'm really excited about both of these inks um, I think it will brighten up the collection so far like I said it's pretty dark so far uh, well Florida kind of brightens gives it some brightness but uh, yeah I've been looking for a yellow which I think I still want like a more sunshiny yellow we'll see when we swatch it and like a bright bright tealy blue I think this is pretty again it's another blue that they've released in the collection and I know blue is a popular ink color but this is at least like a turquoisey tealy blue and not like a blue blue so yay so all right so we're gonna go ahead and live dangerously and not put backing paper down and we're just going to go ahead and swatch these and um, yeah, and then I'm going to go ahead and get back to work. Um, I also received my uh, Birmingham order today. Um, I don't have time to go through all that today, but I am looking forward to doing that. Hopefully when I get home from work today or tomorrow, I will start with Alaska because that's what I opened up. It's pretty. But yeah, so this looks like a really pretty, like, aqua color. So, I ordered this from Pen Chalet. Ooh, I like this. Still doesn't make me necessarily think of Alaska. I would have think... I, it's not, like, icy blue enough to me. I would have thought of an icier blue, I think. But let me know what you think. We haven't, you know, when we swatch it, let me know. Is this, does this scream Alaska to you in any sort of way? Um, I also thought of like, like potentially, well, that wouldn't work. I was going to say black from Midnight Sun, but it's actually very light there when they have their Midnight Sun because it's called Midnight Sun, dummy. Um, yeah. Oh, this is really pretty. This is really pretty. This is the kind of color that I was like expecting for Florida, perhaps. But this is very pretty. I already know which pen I'm going to stick this in, actually. Um, yeah. So here we go. And then we will take a look at Maryland. I can't wait to see. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful like honey color. Again, I got this from Pen Chalet. This reminds me of KWZ Honey. Um,
Easter patches. Very pretty. So I think I'm gonna have to maybe go. Here's our thing. Now let's look and see how it looks in the lineup. We'll look, set this off to dry a little bit. We have Sailor, 50 states, Oregon, and Texas, Virginia. I'm trying to remember how they like came out. I think it's California and Colorado. And then I think it was Illinois and Virginia. Or was it New York and Texas? I don't know. Then it was New York and Texas. And then it was Delaware and Oregon. And it was Pennsylvania and Florida. I'm going to switch these because contrast. And now we have Alaska and Maryland. So there's our whole set so far. We have two, four, six, eight, ten. We have twelve of the fifty states. I think this. I think this. This one specifically brightens up the whole collection. Oops, that's wet. Like, look at these two together. How pretty is that? Um, yeah. So I'm looking forward to getting this one specifically in a pen. Let me see. I thought it was gonna have to go, but I think it's the. I think it's the neighbor. So let's go ahead and move these. And here are some that I think people will want to see. Um, here it is next to Lamy Crystal Amazonite, which is obviously a little darker. Lamy Tourmaline, which is darker and greener. Lamy Turquoise. I just picked up my ink flight ring and that happens to be what was sitting here. Um, for some Maryland action, I have some KWD Cappuccino. I don't think I got honey in an ink flight, but El Dorado. Here is next to Robert Oster Aussie Gold. If you have any Pure Pens inks, there's Pure Pens Cotswold. Pannonia Dungo. This is kind of a yellow that I want to see in the collection. Like a yellow, like a bright, a bright, bright yellow like that. Here, this is next to Pannonia Poison Green. Here. Anything? 
I know that this ink is kind of popular, Three Oysters Mustard, so here's how that compares. Definitely more of a, like a honey brown than a yellow. Okay, that's probably all I have on that one. Here's some pen friend inks. Here it is next to Kyuna Oto Yamabukiro. And also Purdy and Sons. Like this is more orange, this is more yellow. Those are samples from Pen Friend um, Sandy. Let's see what else we got in here. Y'all are good about sending me like browns and yellows, which I really appreciate because I don't typically buy those. But here's Kobe 21 Taisanji yellow, which is a favorite. Um, this is a favorite of mine. This seems like it's a little more brown. But yeah, stunning. All right, let's see what else we got here. In case you have some Birmingham inks, this is what it looks, this is what Alaska looks like next to Fountain Turquoise. Here is what, I know buddy, here is what Inaho looks like next to Maryland in case that's something that you were curious about. Also, Robert Oster burned orange. These samples are provided by uh, pen friend Casey. Oh, here's another one. Here's um, Morning Mist next to Alaska. Alaska is just really bright. And I think the ring that I need is actually my diamond ring. Because I think that has my diamond, my A through like M line. What's this? Oh, here. Um, diamine Aqua Lagoon. This was a sample provided by pen friend Sarah. Um, it's a little darker, a little brighter, like a little more saturated in it perhaps, and a little bright brighter. Like this seems a little more muted next to this one. This one seems to shine a little bit, but still lovely. Um, Um, here is Maryland next to Robert Oster Khaki from Pen Friend Carolyn. And we circle back. Let's see. Here's some random samples I have to like organize and put away. Here's Maryland next to Colorverse Golden Record. And also Martian, which is way more yellow. Here is Alaska next to Private Reserve Blue Suede. Rubber Oster Bondi Blue. Here Alaska is next to Mirror Mirror Moraine. Pilstein Aquamarine, Diamine Eau de Nil.
Grand Demons Wine Glass Bay. Next to Grand Demons Pixie Parasols. Okay, so my sample says Robert Oster Honey, but it smells like KWZ Honey, and there's what that looks like. Here it is next to KWZ Honey, in case that gives you any sort of like help or indication. And then for those that have standard, <coughs> excuse me, standard bindery inks, RIP. Here's Alaska next to that. It's a little more green. Diamine Ancient Copper. Milky Quartz. Definitely no comparison there. Not even close. Um, yeah. That's all I got for now. Um, yeah, so I hope that this was helpful. Um, you got to see some inks. And um, again, show you the current lineup. Um, we'll do this at the end. Alaska and Maryland. Colorado. California. I really don't remember what came out next. I think it was New York and Texas. Texas is still my favorite. Texas and Oregon are my favorite of the, well, just Illinois and Virginia. Then we had um, Oregon and Delaware. I have a feeling this is the ink that I'm currently thinking about sticking in the new Twisby Lilac when I order it and it gets here. And then Pennsylvania and Florida. I think that these two look amazing together. I love the way that these two look together. Love it. Love it. Here's what Alaska and California look like in case you wanted the, a closer comparison. And here's what Texas and Maryland look like if you wanted a closer comparison of those. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. And um, yeah, I will see you very soon with another video. I have Birmingham pen or er, Birmingham inks to swatch. Um, I have filmed a couple swatches with friends videos that I need to edit and upload. So we'll be seeing some more ink around here very soon. I have some stuff that's on its way to me that I'm very excited about and yeah I will be seeing you soon it's been weird like getting on YouTube and not having pen videos to watch every day or um like even just not recording my own videos every day it's been you know it takes a it takes a minute to get used to after doing it for 30 days so and also this I got I somehow got shimmer on this uh swatch and I don't know what shimmer it is and how I did it but it's the gift that keeps on giving so Anyway, thank you as always. I'm actually I'm gonna leave these out to dry a little bit. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will um, see you very soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.